McDonald had a band. We did Old McDonald recently and I did all the signs for different animals. Like, give you a couple examples. We did like pig. We did, I'm trying to remember now, horse, um, cow. Uh, yeah, and I linked this song, this specific one that I'm going to do with it, but I didn't do an actual activity with it. And I thought um, after listening to it a few times, it made me want to do an actual activity. So I'm going to do that with you today. And then I have found um, the version that I do, just the song. I've also found a cartoon version where there's like little cartoons playing the instruments that I thought would be fun to watch. And then I also found a Raffi version, which is a little bit different, but you can incorporate that and do that one as well. So I'm going to give you lots of variations of how to do this today. Um, okay. So first we're just going to do all pretending. We're going to use our imaginations. So we're having to imagine what these instruments look like. We're going to practice how you hold the different instruments or how you play them with your hands. And then we're going to try to mimic the sounds the best we can. So I'm going to give you some of the sounds that we're going to be working with. Uh, so this is really fun to really kind of get that brain thinking about what they look like, how you hold them and the sounds that they make. So the first instrument is a drum. Drum is pretty easy. We're going to tap the floor for the drum. Okay. And we're just going to kind of go boom, 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 boom. Okay. Can you practice that with me? Boom, 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 boom. I'm kind of going to make up the tune that we sing when we have our drum. Very good. That one's pretty easy. The next one we're going to do is a bass. Now there are several different types of bass. There can be a bass guitar. There can be a bass as a string instrument. It looks, you know, kind of, it's in between like a cello and a violin, but it's really big. You hold it up here and you kind of strum the, the strings. Um, the guitar, you would hold like this and you would play the bass. It's kind of a, it's a lower, uh, lower tune. So we're going to give it like a da dum 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 dum. That's the sound we're going to do. I'm going to hold it up high and I'm going to strum it down here. Da dum 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 dum. So that's going to be our bass. So we got boom 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 for a drum and da dum 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 for our bass. Then we have a piano. Piano, we're going to be playing the keys like this, and we're going to sing do 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 Now, piano kind of makes more, that's kind of a tricky sound to do. I think it's more like tink, 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 to tink, tink, to tink, but I think do 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 will be easier to sing. So we're going to do 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 as we play our piano keys. All right, the next instrument is a saxophone. Miss Tracy actually played an alto saxophone for, I believe, close to six years um, as a child. I started in elementary school and I played all through junior high and I stopped right before high school. So um, yeah, I wish I still had my saxophone. I would play it for you. Unfortunately, I don't. But a saxophone, you need both hands to play. Um, and a lot of what we're doing as we're using, you know, we're, we're crossing that midline today. We're using both sides of our body and using both hands to mimic these different instruments. Uh, so that's part of also like a great benefit to doing this. So, so for saxophone, you're going to take it and you're going to have one hand that's up high and one that's down low, down low. That's kind of holding it and up high is doing the keys. And, uh, this, we're going to do kind of a so that's how we're gonna hold and play our saxophone. Alright, the next one we'll have a trumpet. And a trumpet is a smaller instrument. And I'm gonna edit in what all these instruments look like so that kiddos can see them before we do it and have an idea of the instrument. Trumpet, we're gonna hold up here. So you're holding the bottom part with one hand and the other, the top part with like your, I do with my right hand because I, that's my dominant hand. And I don't know if you can, I'm trying to remember now if you play instruments with your dominant hand or if it's always right. It's been a while since I've actually played an instrument um, and doing this without one is hard. Uh, so anyways, okay, so trumpet, you're, you're using your first three fingers and so you're just kind of alternating those fingers and that we're going to kind of do like a... That'll be our trumpet. 
All right, last instrument is a trombone. Trombone is a long, has a long slide with it. So you're gonna hold it with one hand and we're gonna kind of go make that kind of slide sound the best that you can and just really slide that arm out like that. Wow, that might be kind of a tricky sound. So whatever you get out is okay. Um, all three of those instruments are kind of tricky and have similar sounds, especially trumpet and trombone. They're in the same family. So they really have that, you know, that sound that brass instruments make. So just do the best you can uh, in mimicking those sounds with me. Or if your children come up with their own sounds, that's okay too. Um, the last one is, the last part of the song is Old MacDonald had a neighbor. And as the instruments start to play, the neighbor says, shh, and then we stop. So that's kind of the funny part, um, is that he had a neighbor and the neighbor said, you know, you're being too loud and you need to be quiet. Okay, so let's do, now we've kind of practiced all the different movements we're going to do. Let's do Old MacDonald had a band. Are you ready? We're still going to sing E-I-E-I-O. It's a little faster. Ready? Here we go. Old MacDonald had a band. E-I-E-I-O. And on that band he had some drums. E-I-E-I-O. Ready? Boom. McDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and in that band he had a bass, E-I-E-I-O, hold your bass up high and strong, do 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 and on that band there was a piano, E-I-E-I-O, play your piano. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and on that band he had a saxophone, E-I-E-I-O, ready? Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and on that band he had a trumpet, E-I-E-I-O, hold it up here. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and on that band there was a trombone, E-I-E-I-O. All right, ready? We're going to hold it. There. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And next door to that band, there was a neighbor, E-I-E-I-O. Good job. All right, that one's kind of fun, kind of silly. I am going to be right back and I'm going to show you how you guys can do this one with some props slash instruments. So I'll be right back. All right, after you've done all the pretending just with your hands, which I suggest doing first just because it does give them a little bit of fine motor exercise and things like that, and they have to be really creative. Um, go search for your own instruments. You can do this song on your own and make up your own words based on what you have. So I'll give you an example. If you have a maraca, you would sing, Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and in that band there was a maraca, E-I-E-I-O. Shake, shake here, shake, shake there. Here, shake, there, shake, everywhere, shake, shake. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band there was a drum, E-I-E-I-O. Tap, tap here and tap, tap there. Here, tap, there, tap, everywhere, tap, tap. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. All right, so 
like I got my own coffee can drum. I have a maraca. If you have any other instruments at home, if you have like a little toy xylophone, you can do a xylophone instead of a piano. Um, you can also do this all totally pretending with the same words that I link with, with in Google Classroom, use that song. So the version that we did, we had our drum. Drum is very easy to find something to drum on. We had our bass, so you can take some, I could take my maraca and pretend it's my bass. I could like hold it and strum the bottom. Do, 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 do. Um, I have a keyboard, so I could use that as my piano, or you could use your xylophone and pretend it's your piano. You could take a spatula that we've used. This could be your trumpet. This could be your saxophone. It could even be, if you take two, you could pretend this is your trombone and that's your slide, slide. Um, or I even have like my pan from um, earlier songs that could be like your bass. This kind of has a guitar feel to it. This would be better than your maraca, I think. So you could still, so there's three different ways you can do this. All pretend with me, um, with your hands. You can use props as your pretend items and use your imagination that way. And then the fourth way, you make it up yourself with your own instruments. So, lots of ways you can do this song, and it's really fun. I actually really, really like this song. Um, I just recently kind of got into it. So, yeah, have fun with that. And then you can always go back and do the old McDonald with the farm animals and all the signs that I taught you. Um, I believe that was last week if you want to go back and do that one. All right, have fun. See you tomorrow.